Hello, I'm Caro Drum, and I'm the head teacher for primary and early years here at Regents International School in Bangkok. Regents is a fantastic school. It's a great place for everybody. I think that the children who come here really enjoy the atmosphere, the ethos, the academic learning, but most of all, the fact that this really is a happy school. Hello, my name is Kirsty Perry, and I am one of the deputy heads at Regents Bangkok. I'm an early years specialist and I teach in reception. Regents is a fantastic and unique international school to work in. We have a wonderful team of staff who are approachable, highly qualified and always strive to bring out the best in the children at Regents. As an early year specialist, I'm fully aware of the needs of our youngest children and the development paths they need to take through our early years department. We are able to carefully plan for the needs of children at different stages of their learning and use our understanding and expertise to plan engaging and appropriate activities which inspire children and develop their curiosity. The early years foundation stage is comprised of seven areas of learning with objectives that are focused on the age of the child. These areas of learning are personal, social and emotional development, communication and language development, physical development, literacy, mathematics, understanding of the world and expressive arts and design. One of the key differences between the English National Curriculum and the Early Years Foundation Stage Curriculum is the classroom. Whereas our older children will complete their learning activities sat at desks in groups, an early years classroom takes place indoors and out. When walking into an early years classroom, you will see children engaged in different learning activities. Sometimes the children will be learning together as a class on the carpet. Other times the children might be in a guided group with an adult with a focused objective. However, in an early years classroom at Regents, you will also see children independently playing. In different areas of the classroom, the teacher will have set up resources which will provide children with opportunities to explore, experiment and problem solve. The children will be leading their learning independently and the teachers will be observing and planning for their next steps of development. The early years curriculum at Regents is achieved through a combination of play-based learning and also adult directed learning. Regents is a vibrant school and children have opportunities throughout the school year to engage in different events and activities. As well as our extracurricular activities program, the children will also have opportunities to take part in productions and other exciting events such as international days and Thai festivals. An early years classroom will look very different to a year one to six classroom and this is because of our play-based learning. In an early years classroom you will see stations set up such as a role play area, a literacy area, a maths area, sand and water play and even a role play home corner. When you're walking into an early years classroom you might see children working in a guided group on a playful activity with the teacher. Guided play is when a teacher has designed the learning intentions to come from an activity and supports the children in their play. You will also see free play in the classroom. This is where children are free to explore the resources and spontaneously lead the direction of their own play. This play is carefully observed by the adults in the classroom and the teachers will look at the children's play and assess their next steps and then plan for it accordingly. Play in an early years classroom is part of a children's learning and development towards their year goals. Play in the playground is actually a time for children to socialise and take a break from their learning in the classroom to have some exercise and gear themselves up ready for their next learning challenges in the classroom. Of the seven areas of learning in the EYFS, there are three prime areas of learning. These are personal, social and emotional development, communication and language development, and physical development. 
These areas of learning form the foundation to children's learning for their whole education journey. And they really are vital in developing children's curiosity and enthusiasm for learning. Through these three areas of learning, children learn to form emotional relationships with their peers and adults in their life. They learn to manage their behavior and their emotions and thrive in an educational setting as well as in everyday life. The earliest children begin their day at 8.30 a.m. This starts with a lineup in the early years playground. A wave off to mummy and daddy and their helpers and off they go ready for their day of learning. Once they've been independent in organizing their belongings into their lockers, they come into the classroom for registration and the first session of the day, a communication, language and literacy session. During the morning, the children also have a healthy snack to give them lots of energy to keep their play going all the way through until lunchtime. During the day, the children will take part in different learning activities following the curriculum. As well as their maths and their topic activities, they will also engage in computing and specialist subjects. Our specialist subjects are taught by our specialist, highly qualified teachers. The children will take part in Thai, Mandarin, swimming, PE, music and library. The day for early years finishes at 2pm. However, we have a fantastic early years extracurricular activities program and children in early years can join a club after school. These clubs include activities such as storytelling, creative arts such as play club and also sporting and music activities. For us as parents, our children are the most important and that's non-negotiable. We want the best for them all the time. And we look at two main things. One is the academic level, the experience of the school, the experience of the staff, the, the teachers. And the second one is, of course, um, you know, the welcoming environment. We try to imagine how happy the children will be there. And that's the most important for us. And at Regions, we found both of that. First, um, their experience, their staff expertise, the availability of the extracurricular activities, and of course, the emphasis that they put on excellence in everything they do but also the warm environment, the caring teachers, the amazing admission staff that helped us feel so welcome from the first moment we walked in. We went to the school and we went to visit many places because we are two people who are very important to the school of education. I have to say that I chose the school of Regen because the school of education is the best way to learn. We felt that the school of education is not big, 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 ครบถ้วนแต่ที่สําคัญที่สุดก็คือความใกล้ชิดระหว่างนักเรียนแล้วก็คุณครูครับคือตั้งแต่ท้องแบบว่า2อสเดือนแรกก็ตระเวนดูโรงเรียนแล้วค่ะคือก็เวลาโรงเรียนไหนมีโอเพนเฮาส์เราก็ไปหมดเนาะรเรารู้จักชื่อโรงเรียนรีเจนต์มานานละแล้วก็เซิร์ชเลยว่าวันนั้นเขามีโอเพนเฮาส์แล้วพี่ก็มามาเลยแล้วก็ทางโรงเรียนพาเดินดูตั้งแต่ชั้น primary secondary เดินดูจนทั่วแล้วก็เราได้เห็นระบบการเรียนการสอนแล้วก็ประทับใจในบุคลากรที่สุดว่าบุคลากรคุณภาพแน่นอนที่สุดนะครับเราก็เชื่อมั่นเลยว่าเด็กๆได้รับการศึกษาที่ดีครับเพราะลินนรันตอนนี้เนี่ยทั้งเรื่องภาษาคณิตศาสตร์นะครับความรู้รอบตัวเนี่ยก็เรียกได้ว่าชัดเจนมากในการพัฒนาของเขาและที่สําคัญกว่านั้นคือคุณครูเนี่ยเหมือนกับได้จุดประกายเขามีความสนใจในเรื่องการเรียนรู้ตลอดเวลาครับคือเขาเห็นหนังสือเห็นข้อมูลอะไรต่างๆเขาจะมีความสนใจแล้วก็อยากรู้ตลอดอะไรสำคัญที่สุดที่โรงเรียนนี้ได้ปลูกฝังให้กับอลินอลันเพราะว่าโรงเรียนนี้มีส่วนสำคัญให้ลูกปอได้ค้นหาตัวเองได้รู้ว่าตัวเองชอบอะไรข้อดีของตัวเองคืออะไรข้อเสียงของตัวเองคืออะไรเขาได้รับการปลูกฝังครับให้รู้จักตัวเองแล้วก็มองหาสิ่งที่ตัวเองถนัดแล้วก็สิ่งที่ตัวเองชอบมีวิธีทาให้เด็กรู้จักแล้วก็ยอมรับในตัวเองแล้วก็เคารพตัวเองเพราะว่าสาคัญที่สุดคือสิ่งที่เราเห็นจากลูกเราเนาะที่เขาต่างจากเราคือเขาเขาดูเชื่อมั่นในความเชื่อมั่นเพราะเขาเข้าใจและเคารพในตัวเอง
Now at Regents, we are very excited because there are a lot of new things happening at the moment. And we're very, very excited about the development of our new campus at Langsuen. We're hoping to bring all of the skills and experience that we have into serving a new area of the community. We've been here now in Bangkok for 21 years, 26 years if you include our campus in Pattaya as well when that was established. And now to be able to branch out and to have a new school in Langsuen is really, really exciting for us. We're gonna have opportunities for you to come and find out more about the Langsuen campus and really understand what it is that makes Regents such a special place. So come on board, come and find out what we're doing and we really look forward to seeing you soon. Hello, my name is Mimi Nachati Ratanat Langsi and I am a year 13 student at the Inter International School. Mimi, it's lovely to speak with you today. I know that you've been at Regents for quite a long time, haven't you? Yes. What year group were you in when you started with us? I started in nursery when I was four years old and I'm 18 now so I have been here for 14 years which is a very long time. And you must have some amazing memories from your time at Regents. Could you share some of those with us? Oh wow, I have so many memories of Regents. Um, as these 14 years have been absolutely amazing and I'm really sad that I'll be leaving Regents soon. Um, one of the most amazing times that I have at Regents definitely has to be during sports day. So um, Regents have four houses, green house, red house, yellow house and blue house um, in greenhouse. And uh, these sports events we has always been very fun. There's lots of activities, running, checking, relay. And um, I just remember having a lot of fun and the teamwork and learning to collaborate and the sportsmanship that I learned from those sports events is definitely something very memorable. Mimi, one of the things that Regents really prides itself on is the leadership opportunity that it gives to young people in the school. I understand that you've been able to benefit from some of our leadership projects here at Regents. So Regents is very open with that opportunity and it has been something that has always been open to all students. And there has always been some sort of leadership opportunity that, that students can partake in. So um, in, year, in primary, there has been the um, the president of the student council in primary, which consists of uh, the head students, head boy, head girl, and also the house leaders. And there are also um, students who are class leaders. So there's always some sort of positions that you can partake in. And I have always been consistently in those. And in secondary, there's also another student council which is a lot larger than primary. There's the head students, head boy, head girl, the four house captains, and there's also the prefect group as well. What sort of opportunities has Regents given you in working with community partners? Regents has always been working closely with a different type of community, such as Operation Smile or the Good Shepherd Sisters. And um, I, I remember being part of the Good Shepherd Sisters since I was year two. So. Uh, charity work has always been something that's deeply ingrained with me and it, it eventually led me to establish um, my own organization at school called the Regents Medical Volunteer Society where a group of aspiring medical, uh, aspiring medical students uh, conduct fundraising events at school, raise money for hospitals in the countryside. So yes, it's, charity is something that's very important in Regents. So Mimi, this is your final year here at Regents, which is a real shame, but you're moving on to great things. Tell us a little bit about your plans for the future. So I have been accepted into Sina Kanimilo and Nottingham Joint Medical Program. I will be starting my journey to medicine in September. Regents is an international school and I have many friends from different cultures and backgrounds who have different beliefs. And because of that, uh, Regents have prepared me well for the real world where when I go overboard overseas to the UK, uh, I won't be as culturally chopped and uh, I will be more, it makes me more open-minded to people with different beliefs because I have friends who have different religion and come from different background and it makes me more open-minded. Yes, it, Regents is amazing at preparing me for the real world. So Mimi, if someone was thinking of joining Regents School, what would you say to them? 
you're going to love it here. You'll absolutely love your experience here. Regions have been home to me for 14 years and it's heartbreaking that I have to leave Regions. But Regents will always be home to me and I'll definitely come back and visit Regents if I can. I hope you've enjoyed finding out more about Regents Lang Suan campus and the Regents family. Thank you everybody for joining us today and we look forward to hearing from you soon.